welcome to PC Woods Kids Tech Talk. Today I'm reviewing the liquid cooler that I installed in my previous video, the Arctic Liquid Freezer 2420. Comes with the uh, thermal paste, the MX4 award winning, and they have the MX5 and 6. I mean, as they come out with every generation that's super cooling, that's what they do. They specialize in that. And this one here, I had for a while. Future proof though because it comes with all the necessary brackets and components so you can install it on your AM5 AMD system or the 13 gen Intel 1700 socket six years warranty on this one as you can see right there I love the proprietary pump and the fan the VRM fan it is very quiet and um, Well, what can I say? I mean with that thermal paste putting this all together I really don't have any issues and worries about this overheating the three fans that it comes with are 140 millimeter fans, as you can see right there. And uh, well, when you uh, get a radiator like this, an all-in-one water cooling system, you wanna make sure that it fits in your case. So dimensions are very important. As you can see here, there's three large black fans. I'll be replacing those with white fans from Arctic, identical basically, because the case that I'm installing this in is white. But um, you can see there, there's a lot of fins going through that radiator, very nice. That's gonna increase the surface area for the cooling so the water can you know, get uh, more access to the uh, fans and cool them off. You can see the little tiny VRM fan that's on this pump that uh, Arctic uh, has designed. And uh, well, here are the dimensions again of that radiator. Keep that in mind when you install it in your case. The case that I have here is quite large and uh, has a lot of room. As you can see, I'm going to be using it to cool off the uh, Intel Core i5-13600KF CPU, the latest and uh, greatest from the mid-range. And uh, well, it did a great job, I gotta tell you. Um, on, uh, on this system, first things first, I decided to get those large fans to bring in the cool air into the case and on the uh, back there, you can see horizontally, there's a nice cutout so that I can install this right there at the back with those three fans, of course, I've got a push-pull uh, thing going on on that radiator, okay? Very easy to install. The brackets, instructions, everything comes in there so that you can fasten it onto the motherboard, no problem. And, uh, well, it was purring along, very nice and quiet. Uh, no issues when it comes to noise, so I was very pleased because uh, you would think that it would be a lot of noise, those, those fans, right? Those three 140 millimeter fans. Well, no, Arctic, you know, they pride themselves in quality and quiet performance here on those fans that I really, uh, you know, am pleased with those results. Now, on idle, this system is roughly uh, about 30 to 33 degrees Celsius, you know, roughly hovering around there, depending on if you're looking at the performance cores or the efficiency uh, cores from this uh, new gen of Intel's uh, CPU. But, um, you know, I'm not gonna really run things like this with Blender rendering and Cinebench and doing all this stuff all at the same time. But if you're curious about, you know, uh, you know, killing the processor and running it at 100% load on all 20 threads, well, here are the results. As you can see on the efficiency cores, it's running around 75 degrees Celsius, and on the performance cores, it shoots up to close to anyone from 85 to 90 degrees Celsius. But uh, overall, the system is running pretty cool. Uh, when I play games and that's all I care about because that's what I'm using the system for the most is for my gaming so the GPU is doing most of the work here I've got maybe one or two cores on the CPU that are doing uh, you know the uh, some some processing it's running roughly about 45 degrees Celsius on that CPU which is very nice no overheating whatsoever on the CPU uh, when I'm playing uh, games which is really what I like definitely recommend this and you can get it in AR GB model or a regular RGB model. You can see the different price points there for each. I'll add the links below if you're interested. Very easy to install, like I said, no issues for me. I've had uh, several generations of these types of all-in-ones and uh, this one is no different than the lineup. So again, if you're installing an AMD or an Intel, you're good to go. I like the quiet proprietary pump and the uh, VRM fan, that tiny little fan on the pump is actually very quiet, even though it's running at high R RPMs large density of fins to increase the cooling surface area re reinforced fiber tubing very nice you know what what can i say definitely recommend this one i'll add again the link below if you're interested in purchasing it comment let me know what you think i'd like to thank arctic for providing it and thank you for watching